it's Tara and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to make Persian kebab. Now this is Persian kebab with a little bit of a twist. Usually you make Persian kebab on a fire grill on top of charcoal and it's so good, like it's delicious. But I figured because the weather is getting a little colder right now and not everybody is in the grilling mood where they want to sit out in the freezing cold. So I am going to show you how to make kebab on a frying pan. Kind of a game changer, guys. <laughs> so it actually has a name. It's called kebab digi. And it is so good. And honestly, it's just, it's like less of a fuss, less of a mess and I just love making it when I'm not in the mood to go outside. So let's get right into it and let me show you how to make this amazing Persian kebab dish indoors in your kitchen. Let's get into it. First thing we're going to need are two medium-sized onions. We're going to take the first layer off as well. I love kebab. Oh, it's so good. I try not to eat red meat too much, but honestly, when I see kebab, I'm a little bit of a sucker for it. Okay, so we're just gonna take our onion and we are going to use a, we're gonna use a grater. Can we do like a, oh my God, my eye, <sighs> my eyes. Time out. Time out. Oh my God, I can't walk, I can't see. All right guys, so um, the grating situation is not working for us. So I'm just going to stick the rest of my onions into the food processor. It's the same thing. It's just not gonna make you cry. Add my onion into um, a cheesecloth that's on a strainer because we wanna remove the water. Okay, so we're gonna squeeze the water out of our onion. We wanna make sure that we get all of that excess moisture out because we don't want that in our cap up. A bunch of parsley and we're gonna finely chop this. Parsley is not typically put into a Persian cap up, but I'm gonna give it a little twist because I love parsley and everything. Let's start putting our ingredients together with our meat. For this next part, you're gonna to wanna to pull out some gloves. If not, it's okay. Uh, but we're going to be using turmeric and saffron in this mix. So if you don't have gloves on, you will have a yellow stain on your nails. I'm just giving you fair warning. So what I have here is two pounds of ground lamb, and I also have two pounds of ground beef. I have my parsley that I'm going to add to my mix, insanely potent onion. I have two tablespoons of sum somach, I call it somach because that's how we say it um, in Farsi, but it's called sumac. It's a beautiful spice that you can find in your international market. If not, I'll put the link below where you can purchase it in my Amazon store. I also have a large tablespoon of turmeric. Turmeric is a beautiful Middle Eastern spice as well. We add it to everything. A teaspoon of baking soda, a tablespoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm adding the baking soda in there because since we are using our pan for our kebab, we, um, it gives it that extra, Poof, like almost like a cake, you know? Now I have some saffron that I've dissolved in hot water. What you do to make this is you take a teaspoon of saffron, you crush it up into a powdered form, and then you put like about um, half a cup of boiling water on it. I always save some like this in my fridge, that way when I'm ready to use a recipe, I can just pull it out and use the saffron water on it, and it's awesome. So all we're gonna do is add about one tablespoon, maybe two, because we're fancy like that. So I also like to add a zest from one lime. Don't ask me why, I just like to add it. I feel like the lime brings out a really beautiful flavor. So we're gonna get into the fun part now, 
and we're gonna mix everything up together. So we would typically let this sit for about 30 minutes in the fridge or um, up to like six hours. It's like really good to really marinate those flavors. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put it on the stove now and um, it tastes just as good. So if you're short on time, you're fine. You know, just eat it. It's really yummy. But if not, let it sit. All right, guys, let's move over to the stove. So all I'm gonna do here is heat up my frying pan to a high heat, to a medium high heat. I'm gonna take some olive oil, I'm gonna let that heat up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our mix into our pan. I feel like every time we film, my husband comes home and disrupts our video. Ratcliffe? Yeah. Are you disrupting my video again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then come on over and say hi again. Oh, you can say hi to my stepson, too. Come here, Dawson. Come here. Wait, you gotta pick him up, babe. You gotta pick him up so that they can say hi to everybody. Look into uh -huh. the camera. Look into the camera, Dawson. Are you in the camera? Hi in the video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my amazing stepson. He's seven. All right, back to my recipe. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, what I'm doing here is I am pushing my meat mix onto my pan. So keep on pressing it until it's nice and flat. We're gonna let this uh, cook for about three to five minutes, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna flip it over. All right, guys, so I let this cook for about three to five minutes. Now, how we're going to get this in a cab of form is like so. You're going to take either a wooden or a uh, plastic spatula, a heat proof spatula, separate it. Make sure you use a wooden or heat proof spatula for this because you're going to be using a non stick pan and you don't want to mess up your pan. All right, guys. So now we're going to flip our cab off. I'm just gonna easily flip that over. And you can see that beautiful crust. It's like as if you were on a grill. Just be careful because sometimes these longer pieces might break apart. And usually when you're uh, making Persian kebab on the grill, you're also grilling some tomatoes to pair with it. It's a Persian thing. We always add tomatoes and herbs and all kinds of stuff to our kebab. So I have some uh, quarters here and I'm just going to place them around my pan so that it cooks with my kebab. That way they're nice and soft and ready to be paired with the kebab that we made. Okay, I'm just gonna turn down the heat a little bit to medium. We're gonna let this sit for about five to eight minutes. All right guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my YouTube video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also leave me comments below. I'd really like to hear back from you guys. And if you have any re uh, requests for any um, recipes you would like me to, to make for you guys, please let me know. I love it, love it, love it. And I love reading your comments. So again, subscribe to my channel, leave comments below, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. See ya, bye. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>